Small and unassuming, shrimp is a big player in fisheries around the world, comprising the most valuable fishery product traded globally. Along the Washington coast, commercial shrimpers catch ocean pink shrimp, scientifically known as Pandalus jordani. More readily recognized as cocktail shrimp, these shrimp travel from fishermen to retail counters and restaurants, putting food on the table locally and worldwide. Earning millions of dollars in direct value to skippers and crew, the Washington Pink Shrimp Fishery is economically important to businesses and coastal communities and beyond. Besides shrimp, shrimp trawlers also catch fish. To maintain shrimp quality, the catch has to be sorted. In the past, to reduce the time and labor sorting required, shrimpers moved from areas with lots of fish, some also voluntarily used excluders, devices sewn into the nets in tandem with escape holes to avoid catching fish. I started in 1976. We, we had to be very area specific about where we fished. We would, we would start our day and the bycatch would be so great we would have to go somewhere else. There was a lot of fishing that where we, we had to move off of what we were doing because we couldn't deal with bycatch. These excluders, also known as biological reduction devices, were effective and beginning in 2003, mainly to increase protection for rockfish, their use became mandatory for West Coast shrimpers. It's estimated that excluders have reduced overall catch of fish by 66 to 85 percent. However, not all fish are excluded equally well. Smelt, small round-bodied fish, can pass through the excluder bars and be captured in the net. Of particular concern is the catch of Columbia River smelt, the iconic Eulicon. The largest of the smelt family, Eulicon, like salmon, spend the majority of their life in the ocean before returning to rivers to spawn. Both the Fraser River in British Columbia and the Columbia River are homes to major runs of Eulicon. Important forage for seabirds, mammals, and other fish, Eulicon were historically prized as food by coastal peoples, and for decades, runs of Eulicon sustained commercial and recreational fishing. However, beginning in the 1990s, catches declined as abundance plummeted precipitously along the Eulicon Southern Range. In 2010, the southern population of Eulicon was listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Although the cause for the decline is uncertain, scientists have identified several critical threats to Eulicon recovery. Topping the list are climate change, shrimp trawl bycatch, and dams. Despite long-term research and monitoring, there is still much we don't know about Eulicon. To improve our understanding of Eulicon in the marine environment, and to collect much-needed bycatch data from the Washington Shrimp Fishery, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, with funding from the National Marine Fisheries Service, observed shrimp fishing operations at sea for two years. While at sea, as each tow was hauled on board, biologists identified and tallied the bycatch and recorded biological information. At the same time, fishery managers were encouraging shrimpers to explore new ways to further reduce bycatch. Under an innovative loaner program, fishermen were able to borrow underwater cameras from the Pacific States Marines Fishery Commission. Extensive research by the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife had advanced excluder design over the past decade. Now skippers were for the first time able to actually see how the shrimp and fish behaved in their nets. You know, we're slowly moving to better and better excluders and, and with the cameras and the video underwater, we, we've made, you know, leaps and bounds and and where we were just three years ago when I made that first movie, what it looks like in the net is totally different now. With the visual clues from the underwater video, skippers could test different gear configurations. This led some to change the angle or shape of the excluder or significantly enlarge the escape hole to allow fish to more freely leave the net. I think the future in this fishery is bright. Challenges to reduce bycatch and maintain profitability remain. But through trial and error and additional research and collaboration, fishermen and managers are endeavoring to move the fishery toward greater sustainability.